Hi guys, if you already watched my goal setting video, you're well aware that I set a goal for myself next year to practice ballet four times a week. Today I decided to do ballet like a short little bar as my exercise of the day. To be honest, I kept it pretty low key. I mean, I didn't go crazy. Obviously with the state of the pandemic, I couldn't go into the studio right now. So I actually just did it in my bedroom in the corner right beside my closet. I have not been consistent with dancing in the slightest for the last couple of weeks since my last dancer vlog that was in the studio that was filmed a few weeks ago. I definitely took it easy this morning um, just because it's been a little bit of time, especially with my confined space. So I felt a little bit rusty. I didn't even get through all of the exercises that I normally would have at bar. I did kind of like a little mini bar. And it's been really nice to stay relatively active during this holiday break since my job predominantly is exercising. I just wasn't feeling motivated to do an actual workout and dancing is enough of a workout in my opinion for sure. I did a little bit of strengthening after anyways and since I am teaching online still throughout the holiday I just wanted to move a little bit more through the confinement of my room so that's how I got here today and it's just been really nice to do ballet class in the morning I'm definitely going to keep this into the new year and try to work it into my busy schedule of teaching and I'm definitely going to do a ballet class for you guys on my YouTube channel I just wanted to move a little bit and not be so static when I'm doing the exercises I just want to kind of do what my body felt was right for today. Now re-watching this after I recorded it, I was like, oh my gosh, ew, look at that line. I cannot stretch my foot or stretch my knee or my chest is all puffed out. I'm not keeping a good alignment, but you know what? We're not perfect. We're working towards being better people, better dancers, etc. And I was like, it's super unauthentic if I don't post what I did today. So here's a few clips of me doing ballet, trying not to let my ego take over my enjoyment of the art form. Anyways, I had some tea afterwards and opened up my advent calendars, which I love. My mom gave these two to me this year and they've been incredible each and every day. So I had a shower shortly after I had my tea just to feel refreshed before my classes of the day where my work actually begins. Hello! I haven't officially done an intro today, uh, so good morning. Hi, my name is Jasmine McDonald. If you're new here, I post ballet and fitness related videos every single Tuesday, Thursday, and now Sunday. And if you're also new, you may as well hit the subscribe button. But anyways, today's video is just a vlog. It is the 21st of December. I already did a ballet class this morning. We tried to bring Luna outside, and for those of you who don't know, Luna is my little cat, my little black cat, my little angel, my little baby. We tried to bring her outside to experience snow. Just roll the clip. Oh, no, she's not oh, you okay? Let her, let her go, let her inside. Yeah, it did not go well, to say the least. Yeah, basically I slipped down the ice because we forgot to shovel or melt the ice away because it hurts Elsa's paws anyway. So there was ice on the stairs. I slipped, fell on my butt. Luna jumped out of my arms, but she was on the leash. So she freaked out. She started running inside. She was so scared from that experience. I don't think she's ever going outside ever again. That was our morning. I had anticipated to start this earlier and to record her going outside for the first time playing in the snow because I feel like she would like it. And that's life. It just doesn't work out, I guess. So I'm just getting ready. I only have two classes today because it is the holidays. So I only have two, which is really nice. It's only from two o'clock until four o'clock, kind of in the middle of the day, but that's honestly fine because we're not doing anything. Steve's working on some electrical. Um, I did some ballet this morning. I probably should have cleaned up, but honestly, I was feeling lazy. Luna was so afraid after I cuddled with her for like two hours. She was like hiding under the bed. She was hiding in the closet. Steve had to drag her out. It was shameful. She was very frightened and she's still a little bit skittish now. I saw this video online last night about lash extensions scary how they can actually hurt your vision and hurt your eyelids they look really nice on some people but i don't know i'm scared especially after watching that video of them like peel them off and like try to rip them off her eyes because they wouldn't come off <gasps> scarring There's no hate or shade to anybody who wears lash extensions because again i think they look bomb do what you love and do what you feel good in you know i briefly thought about it because i don't have the longest lashes but then when they said well you can't get them wet I love to swim. You have to pay hundreds of dollars. I don't like to spend money. So. Okay, let's go have lunch. I said this in my last vlog and I completely stand by it. Make more than you're actually going to eat because then you'll have leftovers for the next 
day. Anyways, we had some leftovers, which were just some gnocchi, some cooked green beans, some salad with some tempeh. We also had these screaming hot Terra chips. Elsa was being a goof. I had a cliff bar. We had some fudge that my students gave me from dance, and then I got ready for Zoom classes online, which you can see me setting up my camera, setting up my light, setting up my shoes, my bar. I did change because I was wearing a wool knit sweater, and we got straight to it. This is a clip of me and my student doing a super cute dance. We're actually performing today as I'm recording this. We're performing it in an hour for her parents, which is so sweet. And then because it's super cold here, I had another tea right after class in this cute little Santa Claus mug. Hi guys, so it's been a few hours. It's already pretty dark out. I just put some laundry in and then I also cleaned up my cat's litter box. Joys of being a cat owner. Um, yes, that took a little bit of time. I'm gonna go take the dog for a walk today before it gets too dark and maybe check the post office. Today's not really that interesting because it is the holidays. I don't know what else to tell you. I'm gonna go for a walk and it's cold so I hadn't changed. Sadly, I had nothing in the post office for me, so the trimp was rendered useless. I'm just kidding, we got lots of exercise. Our dog needs like 10 walks in the day. So for dinner, we had air fryer french fries as well as air fryer burgers, and they were on point. So basically, I just cut up the potatoes into little wedges, added some Tex-Mex with some olive oil, tossed them around, put them in the air fryer, I think at 380 or 10 minutes, and they were perfect. This Tex-Mex seasoning is Perfect, it is to die for. So after I tossed those, I put them in the air fryer. I also tossed a salad on the side to have with our burgers and french fries. And honestly, these pre-made kale salads are so good and so convenient because half the time I can't be bothered to actually cut up all the lettuce or wash the greens and it's already pretty much made. So then I added some Tex-Mex onto my burger as well with a hint of maple syrup. And then I added some honey Dijon, ketchup, the works on the burger, obviously some vegan cheese. We did not have any buns, unfortunately, but we still had this really good bread that had like cranberries and pumpkin seeds in it, which is kind of a weird mix, but it ended up working out and tasting delicious. Okay, I'm gonna close off the vlog here. We're gonna watch Love Actually and have dinner, which is burgers. Burgers! I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini vlog for today. Have a happy holiday. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and bye now. Bye. Thank you.